welcome back for another episode of Broyalty. You know, I just had an aha moment, and I'm gonna tell you guys that in just a second here. But hey, if the first time that you guys had joined the Swill Entertainment channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also make sure that notification bell is a ringing. All right, so we're gonna talk about gear, and we're gonna talk about some crafting, but I won't make the video too long. I'm just gonna show you guys what I learned right now. All right, we got a baby coming in, so cool. Um, but before we do that, I got a lot of five stars now, guys. I had managed to get five stars, and I'll make a video, and I'll show you guys how I did it, okay? But I just wanted to show you guys I got five stars, and it does make a big difference. But getting back into the gear here, guys. We got to make our gear in the assembly shop, or you can forge your own gear, craft weapons for the warriors, the rangers, and the mages. But I haven't done that part yet, so that's because I don't have the resources for it. So what I'm going to show you guys is the assembly shop. Now, what I was trying to figure out, and I didn't realize how you get all your gear in this, is I, I used to fight people on the map, and I would, like, I'd beat some of them, and then I would lose to a lot of them, okay? It wasn't really very effective, so I was getting kind of frustrated trying to figure this out. Now, I know the game has potential, that's why I never quit. Now, if you go through here, you have your forge, you have upgrade, and you have reforge. All right, I'm gonna give you guys the skinny on that, break it down to you guys, hillbilly style. But basically, to create a set item, you will need to take an item of corresponding type as a basis, as well as needed materials and bretonium. Uh, the parameters of the chosen items will be upgraded. Uh, the extent of the upgrade depends on the rarity of the item chosen as basis. Okay, simultaneous, use three, six, nine items from the set increased fighting ability of the unit. You can always replace basics items by reforging. All right, so I'm gonna break it down for you guys. All right, so you have different types of armor that you can craft, okay? Now, you have stuff that you can get on the map from opening chests and things like that. That gear is fantastic. However, it's not gonna carry you very far. What you're gonna use is this sets right here, which I have the Barbarian set, Sniper set, Archmage, Paladin, all those are unlocked right now. Now you have other ones here, like the Ninja, Druid, Thunderer, Stormtrooper, which I think like, might be kind of cool, and the Warlock. Those are the ones I don't have unlocked right there. However, we do have these other ones done. So just to break it down for you guys, set items give you extra abilities, okay? If you click on it, it's gonna tell you this is part of the Barbarian set. And the, the, I guess the abilities are pretty much, for the most part, random, but it depends on the base item you use. So let's say that I wanna make this Barbarian Axe right now. I have all the materials right now. I have all the, I could forge it for 1250 Brotonium. I would just click on the item that I want to use as a basis, basically. So it's gonna eat this item up. So you're gonna have, you won't have this item anymore. So you click on it, and then if you look at it, the Happy Berserk Axe, it just gives you the stats that it already has. All right, so of course, you know, we're gonna be able to run into enemies, all right, with the axes. All right, and if you look on the right side, you got the Barbarian's Axe. It's gonna change the name to Barbarian's Axe. It's gonna give it plus 78 damage per second, all right? Still gonna be uncommon. It depends on the rarity as well. Um, it, I guess I could, that's the best I can explain it. Um, I just figured this out not too long ago. Just figured it out, like literally. Um, so it's gonna give you those stats right there. Also, if you guys are choosing to upgrade your weapons, you could do that. It's gonna let you know that the stats that you do have, and I don't have the materials, because I haven't been doing the right things. I'm gonna tell you guys what you need to be doing. Um, you could choose this, the Barbarian's Ring. Now, if you do upgrade this, the next level is gonna tell you that you're gonna get 126 extra health. All right, so that's what you wanna do. Make sure you upgrade that. If you have the materials, you can do that. Boom, hit upgrade. Now my ring is level nine, okay? Um, the time to craft, I don't understand why it says time to craft. Uh, I can just upgrade it just like that. Oh crap, I guess that is time to craft. So I guess over eight, that's when you have to start getting the uh, um, time to craft. The next section here, very important guys. Like I said, just figure this out. You wanna reforge one of your items. Now let's say that you've maxed it out or you have another item and you know how, let me show you guys. I, I can show you better than I tell you. So going on to my barbarian character here. Now if you go to the part where it says put on the best, like the warrior items, it's gonna go ahead and put on the best. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys, just, just to show you. So let's go put on the best warrior items. This is letting me know that I have two items that are better than what I have on right now. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence, guys. I'm gonna try to break it down hillbilly style. All right, so let me go back to what I had. All right, 
So that's gonna let you know that you can also upgrade your or reforge your weapons for better stats, okay? I don't know if there's an easier way to do that. Like I said, I just figured it out. <clears throat> All right, so hopefully I can do it with this weapon here. All right, so I'm gonna click on the weapon. I'm gonna choose. All right, so those are the ones that I got that I wanna upgrade. Top one is what I'm trying to upgrade. I'm trying to keep that. Don't wanna lose any of that stuff. All right, so to combine that and then something else. All right, well, I guess you can't do the swords. You have to do axes. Well, I, I, I guess that didn't work, but it probably worked with the paladin. Now, if I went ahead and upgraded or reforged this weapon, I'm gonna get 473 damage per second on that. Uh, physical armor bursting is gonna be 3,554 extra as well. If I choose to do that, okay? I usually wanna, I kinda wanna not waste resources on doing this. It's not a bad thing. I mean, it's gonna be more damage. It's gonna help me out whenever I do my thing. So I think that would probably be an okay thing. If you guys are an expert at this, let me know if I'm missing something. Cause like I said, I just literally figured this part out. Um, I should've been, I wish I'd have known this about a week ago. That'd have been fantastic. But that's pretty much the skinny on everything as far as the reforging goes. Uh, if you're just like, well, let me see if I gotta find something else. That's how you. That's how you're gonna do it. All right. So I'm re I'm upgrading my ring right now, which yeah, it is 33 minutes, which I didn't know that there was time a time frame on that. However, it's good. Now, does that mean that it's unequipped? I have no idea. Let's look at it and see. <clears throat> okay, it's still equipped. I can still put on the best, but I'm not going to. Um, that, that works out kind of fine, fine and dandy. All right. So of course I got a pallet in here as well which I didn't know we can do this, guys. I, I, I just found it out. Because I haven't watched any videos or anything like that. I'm just kind of like figuring it out on my own. All right, so we can also, um, really can't upgrade this one. We're actually upgrading the, uh, the rings. We can't upgrade that right now. Can't upgrade anything, but we can reforge. Now, if I want to look at my Paladin's ring here, possibly, let's go ahead and choose it and see if there's anything else that we can upgrade. Now, it lets you know, I guess, the best that it has someone that has equipped but that's for like a ranger so i guess if i want to do that get some more crit i could do that so i get an extra 377 crit however my ranger that's having that, that ring equipped won't have that ring equipped anymore so that's kind of to me pointless so i would probably do this right here all right so big guy ring it's good for the warriors it's gonna give me 485 health i'm gonna go ahead and do it okay it's a rare ring so we're gonna go with that. Reforge that, boom. He has it equipped. And there we go. Much more health, guys. Much more health. So I would say that you would wanna probably save your resources as much as you can, and then go for a big, you know, big stockpile. Now I've seen a lot of people inside these, you know, matches and stuff like that, and they had these items on, and they were kicking my ass. I'm not gonna lie. They were kicking my ass, okay? Um, so like I said, I'm figuring it out. I think I, I think I'm have a good basis. Now I'm winning hardcore on the uh, on the map. Now there's other ways that you can get your gear, or there's there's many ways to get de decent types of components, guys. Now it depends on what you're trying to get. You're gonna do the World Devourer here. You're gonna knock out the Mysterious Tomb, and you're gonna knock out the Knight Tournament. Those are the three things that are gonna get you the good majority. Now, if you do the regular stuff on the map, I'm sure you'll get some items as well. But those three things right there, for sure, you're gonna get you some items right there. So you would definitely wanna do that first, okay? Hopefully this helped out. I'm sure it did help out somebody. But like I said, if I miss anything, please, in the comments below, let me know. Now, if I figure out some more things, I will definitely make another video and let you guys know what I figured out. But this is right now, this, this is a good basis right here. <clears throat> and it's bringing a lot of power to my, my fighters. I'm winning a lot more and we just go from that. Um, but either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And go ahead and make sure you guys are buying some merch. I got a lot of merch for you guys to purchase. If you guys want a Swill Entertainment shirt, that would be fantastic. I may do a giveaway just to give away one of those as well. But if you guys want to purchase one, it does help out the channel. You know, I don't like to ask for money or anything like that. But, you know, just to get the productions and stuff like that, equipment and all that kind of stuff like that. But like I said, that's behind the scenes. You guys don't even know about that kind of stuff. But just know that merchandise purchase and also membership purchasing it helps out the channel as well. All right, but either way, see you next time, guys. Be safe.